everyone it's me again I'm Juliet and I'm back so today I make some uh, this a simple food and I know that everyone's going to love this even your kids because this one uh, you know with a busy schedule that we have right now and when we get home we're already tired so this one I make uh, just a simple one and so quick this kind of food but I know it's so healthy this one today I make some carbonara with broccoli and also bacon I hope everyone is going to love this and please come and join me and let's make adventure together okay see you then So there you go, um, adventure. So today uh, we're going to have some uh, broccoli, of course, and broccoli with bacon, okay? And of course, this one is a spaghetti. We're going to have some uh, spaghetti, uh, carbonara with broccoli and with bacon, of course. And, and, um, and we're going to use the cream. And of course, I'm going to add some mushroom, okay? And of course, some basil, there you go. And of course, some oregano. So you can, uh, you can use, uh, by the way, you can use a different kind of bacon, whatever you want. And also, you can use also different kind of pasta, but for me, I always use this kind of uh, spaghetti, okay? And also for me, every time I always cook some pasta, um, whatever spaghetti or bolognese, what, what kind of pasta, I always put a lot of garlic for my sauce because it gives more flavor, okay? And so that's why, there you go. So please come and join me adventure and let's start our food together, okay? Our cooking together. So let's go begin. So we have to cut our broccoli first. And before you have to cut your broccoli, you have to wash them. And for me, I use a knife and sometimes I can use uh, my hand by cutting the broccoli. Because this one is not so um, hard to cut them. So you can use also your, your hands by using, by cutting the broccoli. So you have to be careful every time you cut the broccoli because they have friendly that hiding inside. So yeah, for me I also use this, it's also, I like using this, only the little part of the broccoli. So this is our second um, step of our preparation. So we have an empty casserole and I'm going to pour um, the bacon inside of this empty casserole. But if you can see, I didn't put any oil because I know later it's going to be crispy. And that one is um, because it's so more uh, tasty if the oil is coming up from the bacon later. So we wait about 7 minutes and we will wait until the bacon become crispy. So now if you can see this is our bacon but I put a little bit of olive oil. already cook so now I already cut the onion and also the garlic I chop them but I'm using the machine because it's more it's more tiny is more better so now we're gonna pour this onion and garlic together 
and to make up. And so we need to stir them. And I can smell the garlic. It so smells so good. It's coming out the smell of the garlic. So now we have to wait for a few minutes because we have to prepare to put So there you have it. So now I uh, finish um, and our bacon is already cooked and I think it's already crispy some of it. And now we're going to uh, put our mushroom. So there you go our mushroom. You can use also fresh mushroom or mushroom in the can. Don't worry. This one I, I this one is the cover of the machine. So I just finish all the garlic and onion. So this is you go. So this is our uh, champignon. Sorry, our mushroom. So don't forget to stir them. And we're gonna let it uh, wait for uh, five minutes or two. Uh, sorry, or three minutes. So there you go, you can see they have already the watering that's coming out. That's as a sauce from the shamp uh, from the mushroom and also from our bacon. And so I'm going to add some salt. And of course I'm gonna add some pepper and oregano. the basilic so this one is a basil and after this we're going to wait one or uh, five minutes so I'm uh, sorry a uh, one minute so now we're going to put our broccoli there you have it so we have to, we need to stir them just gentle So there you go. So for me, I stir them uh, everything because they have a small garlic and onion. So now we're going to wait for about three minutes with this again. So if you can see now, it's already done. Everything is already cooked. And then we're just gonna put the cream with this. If you can see my broccoli, I did not cook too much. Just only mild cook. I mean it's tender and juicy so we're just gonna leave it this one and this is our cream for me when I put the cream I will make sure that my uh, the fire is not very uh, it's not in a higher so it's just only in the low the fire the flame so just only little flame. So there, if if you're creamy, if your cream it's so creamy, okay, you can add some water, just a little bit, but not too much. 
Okay, so I add a little bit of water with this. You can see. So let's go prepare our spaghetti. So there we go. So this is our casserole with water. Okay, this one is going to use. We're going to use this one for the spaghetti. So we're going to wait for a. Uh, five minutes or ten minutes depends with how many quantity of the water we're going to use so we have to put a cover and we're just going to wait ten, uh, ten minutes uh, it's, uh, it's before it's going to be boiled so we, now if you can see it's boiling and so there you go so I'm going to put uh, one uh, spoon of salt into water and we will wait so there you go so I going to put the spaghetti into the water with salt water and so I used uh, enough like one of um, with my hand so I put maybe 500 grams with this so 500 grams of spaghetti I put so I think my casserole it's it's okay enough for it for this spaghetti So we have to stir them again, so we'll see that if our spaghetti is already done, but I, I guess it's not yet, so we have to wait about 5 minutes for this. So let's go check our spaghetti if it's already done. I think it's done already, so we'll see. So this one I only uh, cook uh, like five minutes, okay, or eight minutes. It depends what kind of pasta you're going to use. So this one I only cook al tente. So it's a little bit hard, but not too too soft. So just so you can taste taste. So let's go pour the water out and let's go prepare our salad now. So there you go, so, we're so, there you go. so this is our salad. So I'm going to prepare also the salad. This one is a side because every time when I have the spaghetti, I want to have a salad. So this one, uh, we're going to have salad. So it's just a simple one, not too much kind of spaghetti. So I, I'm not going to put too much. So I'm just going to use this salad, green salad and cucumber and also tomato so i'm going to prepare them in the plate so there you have it so me i never use knife for to cut the salad i always use them in the hand So this is our tomato, I can just, uh, you know, if you want to eat some spaghetti, it's better for you that that's not better because um, in Europe when they have the spaghetti, they always, or even pasta, doesn't matter, they always put a uh, salad aside. So there you go, so it's my cucumber. Cucumber is also good for the uh, for your health as well. If you wanna be if you into diet, cucumber it's it's good to eat a uh, cucumber every day as well. So I do, but don't uh, peel them uh, all the skin because the vitamins is in the skin.
so I think I can see I put too much green salad for this I'm going to prepare this later to take it out because I think this is too much so there you go so I'm trying to show you ready there you go so that's my cucumber and that's my tomato and that's my green salad Ta -da -da! So now this is our salad and this is our carbonara with sh our mushroom with broccoli and of course you can see the parmesan, parmesan. So this is what happened to our pasta, to our carbonara, sorry, carbonara spaghetti. So I'm putting them a parmesan. Parmesan in Italian they said okay adventure so let's try our food okay this is what we did for today look at that mm. is it that lovely and looks so delicious and also look at the our salad you can see this tomato and how would I say this cucumber is just so simple and I'm going to add this one this one is an olive oil and just a simple like that okay and now let's go try our delicious pasta so this is carbonara we call it carbonara carbonara spaghetti of course because I use the spaghetti and We'll see. Bon appetit. Mmm. It's so delicious because the spaghetti is not really cooked enough. But it's so because when it's cooked, it's not good. So this one I can still taste and still really good there you go see this and the bacon and also the garlic and of course mm. give me the broccoli mm. this one is so awesome I can get it with you you will love this one if you do it in your home and everyone is going to enjoy it okay and with a white wine as well because I run off with a white wine so there you go adventures I hope everyone enjoy our recipe for today and I would like to say thank you thank you so much for watching my video and I hope I see you soon and of course be nice and good and be good and God bless and please always be be friendly to everyone okay so and always don't forget to smile every day doesn't matter if the the life is so hard so we have to we have to smile and always we have to be gentle and always be friendly and be helpful so anyway I just want to say adventure thank you thank you so much and always be good and be healthy and to the people that subscribe my channel I would like to say thank you so much you are the best and to the people that didn't subscribe me yet I just want to say already thank you already and of course I would like to say thank you thank you thank you so much and I love you all you have always been a good person to me okay good you're always so good the best so I see you soon and I love you all and mwah! Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for watching and this is Juliet Adventure saying thanks for now and goodbye.